Good morning, SMP Nation. Wow, I am so excited for today. I am seeing so many people in the chat today. I'm very, very excited. This is going to be such an awesome show. I'm just, I'm pumped. I'm very excited. I have to say, though, I was watching the chat before we went ahead and went live. And I just have to say, all this coffee talk, I don't have any coffee this morning. I'm I'm struggling, you guys. Someone, somebody was talking about. I think it was co coffee powered home. I think that what it was. I think that's your name. Um, was talking about passing iced coffee through the chat. And please, I'm begging you, bring me some coffee. <laughs> but I am so excited for today's show. But I want to say hi to some of you guys this morning. And if you guys missed the show yesterday, we talked a little bit about SoFest. And if you guys watched last week, how was it? Did you have fun? I really hope you guys enjoyed last week. It was so great. And we're just, we're so pumped. Oh, there's Roger. Say hi. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? <laughs> they are setting up our new, our new little setup for our live shows. So expect some, some new fun things going on for the live shows coming up soon. It's going to be really, really, really exciting. And I'm very happy that we're improving and up in our game. It's going to be great. Um, but let me get back to saying hi to some of you guys this morning. Oh my gosh, we've got so many people on. Um, let's see, Vinny. Oh my gosh, send Roger to Starbucks. You know, I might, I might just, we might have to. I know we're all probably needing some coffee this morning. Um, let's see, we've got Nilda Valencia. I want to say hi. I, I saw some new people on this morning. So I want to say good morning to all you guys. Cindy West. We've got Phyllis Farmer. This is a live stream with the one and the only Becky Thompson. I'm who, do, like, do I have to say any more? It's so great that we're having her on today. She actually was on last week during our SoFest live stream, and she did such an amazing job. She demoed the scanning cut today, or last week, and she's doing that today. <laughs> Can I even talk today? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, but she is back and ready for more. And this time you get a little bit more time with her rather than just the 30 minutes. So we're very, very stoked to have her on today. We've got Star Raymond, 
We've got Arnell Burroughs. I love seeing all you guys on here. All my friends are here and we are ready to learn. Pamela Nessler. We've got Lynn Shepard, Linda Bryan, Darlene Sims. Darlene and Vinny are watching from San Diego. So I love my locals. I'm so excited you guys are here. And before we even get started, there is today is a very special day, not only for Takeover Tuesday, but it is a very special person's birthday today, and I want to give them a shout out. I don't know if she's on. She was on this morning. I saw her commenting, but you know me. It is her birthday today, and all of us here at SMP just want to say happy birthday. If it's anybody else's birthday, too, let us know. We want to say happy birthday to you guys, but you know me is always on the shows. She is so awesome, and she actually came and visited us in San Diego and met up with Blaine. I didn't get the chance to meet her, but I really wanted to, and I hope we can see each other and reunite um, perhaps soon, but it's her birthday. So happy birthday. You know me. We hope you have an awesome day and we're so happy that you are coming on and hanging out with us. I mean, what more? This is so exciting. Um, but I see, I see Wolf Geist on here. All my friends are on here today. I'm so excited. But today's show, as you know, oh my gosh, it's Pamela Nessler's birthday too. I'm looking at the chat right now. Happy birthday, Pamela. It's a birthday day. I'm so happy that you guys are here today. Oh my gosh, that makes me so happy. But let me get into today's show. So as you know, we have a very special guest. It is Becky Thompson of Power Tools with Thread. And she has her own YouTube video or her own YouTube channel where she makes YouTube videos. And she is so talented when it comes to all things. I mean, quilting and using the scan and cut. She is so knowledgeable when and with all of all of the tools, and it's just so amazing. When I saw her on um, SoFest, I said, yep, I'm so glad she's coming on the show next week. And I know all of you guys are excited as well. Oh, we got Tony from the Wolf Pack. Welcome, welcome. Um, but before I get into that, I just have a couple quick announcements before we bring Becky on and get started. But as you know, we do have shows every single day at 10 a.m., so 10 a.m. PST, you can always find us here on YouTube and Facebook, and we've always got some sort of education or, you know, demo or takeover going on here. So it's always so, there's always something going on, always something new, and I'm always here chatting with you guys and hanging out, and of course, we always have giveaways, so make sure you guys tune in for that. And also, the rest of this week, tomorrow, we're having Fomore Cutlery come on and showing you some maintenance tips and tricks for all of your cutting supplies, which is something that I think is so important because sometimes we look over our, you know, our scissors and our rotary cutters and, you know, we're just like, oh, it's just, you know, we just got to use it to get the job done. But there's a lot of maintenance and, and basic care that you can, you can use for it to make your supplies last as long as they can, especially if you have, I know everybody's probably got their one pair of scissors or their one rotary cutter that is their favorite and their you know their ride or die so that's always good and I'm excited for you guys to come on and hang out with us tomorrow and Thursday Blaine is actually on vacation this week so he is off sailing away on a cruise and he will not be in on Thursday but I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the show on Thursday so you will see me on Thursday I'm a little nervous I hope I hope you guys can join me and cheer me on so that way I can be a little bit calm for this because my nerves will be, I'll be a little nervous for it, but very excited for this week. And um, yeah, and Friday, you guys know, we've always got for the next two weeks, two Fridays, this Friday and next Friday, we have Callista from Wonderful back in the house and she's going to be doing all this awesome thread education for you. If you're a long arm quilter, she's going to be going into quilting thre threads on Friday and then next Friday she'll be going into serger threads. Oh my gosh, I can't even talk today. Uh, I'm just too excited for this and I'm too excited for Becky to come on. But all of those little announcements are great. Also, if you are looking for a way to stay in touch with SMP or if you're new here and you want to stay in touch and you want to stay connected with all the happenings going on, we've got all of our social media. So you can go like our page on Facebook. You can follow us on Instagram. We also have TikTok. I posted a bunch of TikToks before I've been doing the show. So we're hoping to get some more TikToks out there, but they're pretty funny. If you go watch them, they're, 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 they're pretty funny. Um, and we also have an email list. So if you go to our website and at the bottom of the page, it'll say September savings. You can click on that and sign up with emails and that will keep you in touch with all things SMP. So we've got all of our events on there. We've got um, things happening locally. So if you're local and we also have 
all of these awesome deals and demos going on through there. So it's a great way to stay in touch. So it's great. It's awesome. It's very exciting. So with that, I think we're going to go ahead and get started. Are you guys excited? I'm very excited. I'm all jittery today because I'm like, ah, it's Becky Thompson. Oh my gosh. Well, let's go ahead and bring her on and chat with her about what we're going to be going over today, shall we? All right, Becky. Oh my gosh. Hello. How are you? Hi, how are you? Can you hear me? Hi, how are you? I'm so excited you're here. Hi, I'm how awesome. You? How are you? Good, good. Morning? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I think yeah, hold on. Hey, how are you? There. Can you see me? Can, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, okay, I got gotcha. <laughs> All right. I'm so excited to have you on this morning. What have you got for us today? Well, I, uh, I'm really, really glad to be here. Thank you so much for having me. This is my first Takeover Tuesday, and I've got my phone right here, and I'm seeing the chat, and it is so nice to see all of my viewers Hello, Star. Hello, Laura. Hello, Debbie. Hello, Carol. Hi, Katie. It's so <laughs> great to see everybody here. And I'm not going to look at my phone or I'll be staring at that instead of talking to you guys. But um, this is really awesome. So, you know, not to be, I mean, it so fast was fun, but we only had 30 minutes. And so it's great to be invited back. I want to thank Sewing Machines Plus so much for, uh, you know, saying, well, you did okay for 30 minutes. Let's see if you can go for a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> no, me and Blade, we were talking about it. And after, after your session, because we had had this, you know, scheduled for a while. And after your session, I said, Blaine, I'm so happy that we're having her on next week, especially after the reaction that we got from you. I'm like, everybody loves you and your talent and your knowledge is just so amazing and so awesome. And I mean, just it's so great. So we're just so pumped to have you on today. And she gave me a little sneak peek of what we're going over today. And I really think you guys are going to enjoy it. It's going to be so much fun. Okay, so I want to explain to everybody, um, I think in my last chat video, and if you're new, and you don't know who I am, hi, welcome. My name is Becky Thompson. And I have the YouTube channel Power Tools with Thread. I am not an employee of Brother or Sewing Machines Plus or anybody else. I am a home sewer like you, but I have been uh, poking around here long enough. <laughs> and I, I, I've, um, I'm a military retiree. I retired from the Air Force in 2003. And then I retired from the Air Force Civil Service in 2020. So I've got 37 years of federal service. And one of the things that the Air Force taught me was how to be uh, comfortable with technology. I mean, I came in the Air Force when computers, we didn't even have them in the office when I first came in. And then they kind of came along and came around. And, and by the end, you know, all of this stuff was up clouds and all of this stuff. And, and it was crazy. And so I have a real firm foundation of technology, how it all works, sort of pretty good. I don't know. And then I like to incorporate that technology into my sewing space because I love to make applique quilts. And when I see an applique quilt that has a gazillion little pieces, um, used to be the, the word tedious came to mind. And now it's not because I have learned to do all the fabric cutting with the scan and cut and uh, taking the file created by the scan and cut and turning that into uh, an, an applique design using software like BES4 or simply applique. And that's what we're going to do today. So otherwise, yes, I have a long arm. Uh, I am a Grace Ambassador and educator and i do have the new uh, uh Kinique, uh what is it called 21x elite and uh it is a fabulous machine and i quilt on the grace continuum to frame i'm a brother baby for most of my machines i do love my brother machines i have a luminaire and i have an nq 3700d that is my travel machine gypsy 
and I have a Brother 10 needle, the PR 1055. So I do a whole bunch of everything. And when I was in the service, one of the things that they taught me how to do was how to be an instructor. And I just kind of started making videos about three years ago about, well, let me show you how to make this designs by Juju designer. Let me show you how to make this uh, table runner or something like that. And that just kind of, that ball just took off. And all of a sudden I'm teaching, uh, now I'm teaching for Sulky and I'm teaching for Sewing Machines Plus and I'm teaching for Grace and it's just an, an amazing thing. And when COVID came around, so many people had bought these machines and then they were promised classes and classes were canceled or they bought a scan and cut and the class was canceled and they just never took it out of the box and they don't know how to use it. And so if you ever go over to my channel, Power Tools with Thread on YouTube, then you can search my playlist for scan and cut and I have all kinds of videos on there uh, to show you what we're gonna go over today too. So I will be, let me do a couple of announcements. I will be at the Houston Quilt Festival and I will be showing and demoing cutting fabric on the scan and cut November 3rd through the 6th. So if you are there, please stop by the Brother booth and I will be happy to uh, chat with you. We can get pictures. I cannot wait uh, for that. That's going to be so much fun. I will also be at Market. And so if any of you are vendors and going to be there, you'll see me wandering around and my new camera crew guy is my husband. So he's going to be coming with me. And then I will be teaching on a sew and sale cruise, two of them back to back, January 22nd through February 5th is the two cruise dates that we have got booked. So the first one is sold out. And if you are interested in going, I would love to meet you on the second one. And I believe it's uh, the 29th of January through February 5th. And you can go to sewandsalecruise.com and check that out and sign up and I can't wait. It's just gonna be so much fun. So, okay, so that's what I had. Um, in the three years I've been on YouTube, we're over 52,000 subscribers. Can you believe that? It's crazy. And we just went over 20,000 in our Facebook group. We've got a private Power Tools with Thread Facebook group. So thank you, Karen, <laughs> that's nice. Yeah, we, this is, like I said, it's just taken off and, you know, people, put my videos on and, and they tell me they binge watch, I, whatever, y'all don't have anything to watch then. But um, I'm just somebody to visit with in your sewing room because uh, ours is a bit of a lonely hobby. But uh, yeah, we just uh, visit together and, and hang out in the sewing room. So anyway, all right. So I do like to use technology in my sewing space. And a lot of People are so intimidated by technology. And that's one of the things that I, all right, creative appliques, I will be sure to wander by your booth <laughs> if I've got time. I'll be there the whole two weeks. So uh, I'll be around. But anyway, um, so I, I said this in SoFest, but we've got people who were not at SoFest. So let's go through this one more time. You guys know what this is? This goes with your television. Do you know what it is? It's a TV remote. Do you know how it works? I don't. I don't know how it works. I don't care how it works. What I care about is how to work it. And that's what I want to talk to you about, about implementing technology into your sewing space. You don't have to know how it works. You only need to know what buttons to push to make it do what you want it to do. And for those of you that have embroidery machines, or maybe you have a combo, sewing and embroidery combo, and you've never used that embroidery arm, I really want to encourage you to take it out. You can just attach the arm, turn it on, and just look at it. You don't really have to do anything with it, but I've got videos on my channel that will take you through exactly how to use that step by baby step. And you, it doesn't matter what model that you have. And as a matter of fact, what I'm showing today using the Brother Scan and Cut, it does not matter if you have a Brother sewing machine or not. You can do what I'm going to show you with any home embroidery machine uh, manufacturer, or make or model. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. You are limited by your hoop size. And I'm sorry in advance if you feel compelled to spend money 
after you see what we're doing. Because so many people tell me, you're an enabler, Becky, and you made me buy this new machine. <laughs> Because once you get the hang of it, you're just going to absolutely love the machine embroidery process along with applique. Okay, so I'm going to quit talking. I've been yakking long enough. On my channel several weeks ago, I showed this adorable pattern. Look at this. This is Believe. Isn't he adorable? Look at that. And this is an applique quilt from the Quilt Factory. This is so stinking cute. But I want you to take a look at this. So let's kind of let's kind of look at this from uh, an applique perspective. We've got a giant snowman. He's got a scarf that's really big. Okay, we have a big hat. Look at all the little circles on the scarf. We've got five trees with five sets of snow caps on the trees and five little tree trunks. We've got a couple of birds, we have arms, and we have the letters that make up the word believe. So there's a whole lot of applique. That's not all of it. I didn't mention it all, but there's a whole lot of applique. And then we've got some quilt piecing right down in here. So this is a super fun little project to do. And what we're going to do today is we're going to turn that scarf and all of those little dots into an embroidery design. And I'm gonna show you how to do that, how to fully automate machine applique. Well, applique, and what's really interesting is this is not already a digital pattern. This is, I'm gonna pull a couple of pieces of it up here. This is a paper applique pattern. It's paper applique. Now, how am I gonna take paper and turn it into an embroidery file? Well, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so remember, we don't have to know how it works. We just have to know how to work it, okay? All right, so uh, I have got a new camera set up here. So if I hit the wrong button, please bear with me. I'm getting used to it myself. So this, this adorable pattern is made with Moda's Twinkle by April Rosenthal. And I love to use pre-cuts in these kinds of projects because Look at all the different colors that you get. This saves you from having to buy yards and yards and yards. I did have some extra yardage because, like I said, that scarf is kind of big. So I did buy some extra red twinkle. They're tiny little stars. Can you see it? So I bought some extra twinkle yardage because I do need it, like, you know, for the background. You need that. And you need uh, different pieces for your snowman and whatnot. But for all of the colors that are in there, I've got the layer cake and I was able to cut that and use that. So that was pretty cool. All right. So how do we do this? I am going to switch over to my camera. Yes. Thank you. Let me back out a little bit and go a little wide. There we go. OK, so this is the brother scanning mat. And if you don't have one of these for your scan and cut, you may want to get one because it has a clear flap on it and this is not sticky. So this is really great for what you need to be able to scan in paper patterns. I already scanned in the scarf, but now we're gonna go ahead and scan in all of the circles that we need. And I want to show you on the different pages of the pattern. So page one, this is where we are here with page one. Here's a large circle, a medium, a small, and a tiny, okay? And it tells you right here, you need two large, two medium, three small, and two tiny. So we'd have to uh, trace this a bunch of times onto the back of some heat and bond or some other substrate, whether it's hot fix adhesive or whatever. And then you would have to do that and then cut them all out by hand. And I don't want to do that. And then over here, we have dots for the scarf on page 10. And I need four small dots and six tiny dots. Well, the small and the tiny here are the identical size for the small and the tiny right here. So all I need to do is scan this one page then. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and slip this in here and you can see so we've got 
the outside of the circle and inside of the circle is the word large and small and medium and whatnot. And like, there's our treetops and whatnot, but I'm only concerned with my circles today. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this into the Scanna Cut. Let me change my angle just a little bit so you can see the Scanna Cut. I'm gonna move the camera just a little bit here, up like this. I think that will work just fine right there. And um, it timed out on me. I'm gonna go and touch it and click okay. Okay, this, you've got, four buttons here on the front of the machine. You have on and off, home. This is the button to load your mat and a pause. And so I'm gonna press this middle button right here to load the mat. You just push the mat up against the little rollers and it's gonna do its thing. Okay, so what it did is it pulled it in and it took a look at these dots up here on the top of the mat and that tells the machine uh, what mat is in there. And now I'm going to uh, switch over to another camera. Just a second. I'm going to press the, ah, look at the magic. Yay. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. So now here on the screen, and I apologize for the record and the menu and all that, you guys, I haven't figured out how to get rid of those. Okay, here on the screen, I'm going to take the pointer. When you first open up the scan and cut and get this menu, you've got two buttons. You have pattern and scan. And pattern, these are shapes or designs or letters that are in the machine when you bought it. Okay, these are not patterns that you might have scanned in. This is what's in the machine when you bought it. And then you have the scan button. So I want to scan my paper applique pattern. So I'm just going to touch scan. And you've got three choices here. You can do a direct cut. I don't want to do that because it would then cut up my mat. I don't want to do that. You can scan to cut data or you can scan to a USB. I'm going to scan to cut data. And I've already loaded it. So the button is green to start. And I'm just going to press start. And in it goes. Okay, so now it is recognizing what it saw. And we're going to wait. And now we can see all of our circles on the screen. So remember earlier when I mentioned we have the outside of the circle and we have the word large inside of it. So these buttons right here are talking about all of this noise and all this mess that's in here. So this is a circle and a square that are together. And then here they are, they're kind of welded together. So this is outside only, just the outside of the shape. This is inside and outside. And then this button here is for regions, like if you needed color or something like that. So I'm only interested in the outside of the circle. So I'm going to tell it outside only. And it says outside only. This is everything I see. Are you OK with that? I'm going to tell it OK. And now it is processing and looking at outside only on all of those shapes. Now, do I want to save it in the machine? Do I want to save it to the cloud or do I want to save it to a USB? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save it to the machine. I saved it to the cloud earlier. And it's doing its thing. I'm going to tell it OK. Now, <clears throat> what I had done earlier in um, Kennedy, I don't know if we can look at the um, screen on my laptop. Is that possible? Let me see here. Um, screen on my laptop. Is that possible? Let me see here. Yes, it's on um, the screen for screen you. Screen on my laptop. <laughs> Is that possible? Yeah, yeah, it's on there right now. Yes, it's um, on the screen for you. Screen on my laptop. Is that possible? 
Oh, it's echoing. Hold yeah, on. Okay. All right. So this is the brother canvas workspace brother dot com. And <clears throat> again, you do not have to have a brother machine to use this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my projects up here. You've got four tabs across the top. I'm going to go to my projects. And here is the um, page that we just scanned in. You can see. We've got, here's the circle, here's the circle, here's the circle. What I like to do is pull these off the mat. These are the ones that I want to keep. And then I'm just gonna take my cursor and I'm gonna drag it all over the entire mat, highlight everything and hit delete with my keyboard. And then I'm gonna take my circles and put them back. All right, so remember the large we needed two. So with it highlighted, I'm going to right click with my mouse and do duplicate. Okay, there's that. And then the medium, we needed two. So I'm going to right click with my mouse and duplicate. See, I'm not having to trace these onto paper. And then this is the small. And I need seven of these. So I'm going to right click and duplicate until I have seven. And I'm just going to continue to do this right here. And look, how many do we have? You guys counting one, two, three, four, five, six. And one more is seven. And let's see, only three of these need to be white. So I'm going to move these on down here. And we're going to, uh, I'll be working with other strips of fabric for different colors. Let's see, three of them needed to be white. Okay, so this is where my white fabric is going to go. What I'm doing right now is I'm kind of getting these all real uh, clustered together to uh, conserve my fabric. Okay, and then this guy, this tiny, I needed eight of these and two of them are white. So let's uh, uh, duplicate three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two of these are white. All right, this looks pretty good. The rest of these, um, I guess I could use the little tools, but. Uh, Hey, to Becky. move them, but I'll just put them all in a line so that they cut straight like this. I could use the tool in the in, on the screen, but I'd have to poke around for hey, that, Becky. and I don't want to waste all of your time. All right, so look at this now. I'm going to be able to cut uh, two Becky. different colors of these, two different colors of these, and then this are all going to be, let's see. I've got six of these need to be colored. And so I was going to do I don't know if two know. of this. She's using BES4, by the way. And two BES4. of this, or three of these each, I think is what it was. Yes, for the tiny ones, I was going to do three of these and three of these. So this is all going to be one strip of fabric right here. And then these are going to be a strip of fabric. And this is going to be a strip of fabric. So now look at all those circles. I don't have to cut by hand. All right, so now, so simple. I'm just gonna click download. And for download, it wants to know, do you wanna download it to your PC? I'm gonna tell it yes, because I'm gonna use these in, um, in, in a software that I'm gonna show you guys in just a minute. And then here's the scan and cut transfer. So I'm gonna click that too, and it takes just a second, and it says the transfer is ready. Okay, so now I'm going to come back over here to um, my uh, scan and cut. Let me get back over here. 
Nope, that's one, this one, yep. Okay, so now I'm gonna just go back to home and that's because we're all done scanning. I'm going to eject my mat and get rid of that. All right, and now I'm gonna go back to home. And is it okay to delete all patterns? I'm gonna tell it okay because we're all finished with the scan process. Now what I want to do, remember I told you this button right here was patterns that are in the machine when you bought it, but right here, retrieve data. That's what I wanna do because I wanna get the data that I just sent down from the cloud. So I'm gonna to touch the wireless icon. It's got the little radio waves. And there is my map with all of my circles. Okay. So here is, this is the low tech mat. And uh, I've got a post on my blog, powertoolswiththread.com, that explains all the mats and the differences between the scan and cuts and all of that. If you are interested, you can check that out. And what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I've got heat and bond light on the back of my fabrics, okay? And this, again, is the low tack mat. And it tells you right here, it says low tack mat. And again, I am using heat and bond light. This is what I am using on the back of my fabric. And you want to make sure that you iron it on well enough so that it looks like it's almost glassy, okay? See how glassy that looks? And I'm just going to put this on the map right here. Okay. And I've got another strip of fabric right here. It's actually two. Let me undo this. And this is going to be that one set of little dots. And then this will be the other set of little dots. I've got some red that kind of got stuck on there when I was uh, cut doing the fabric for the scarf. And I'm just going to put this right here. Just let it overlap. That's fine. It's not going to hit anything. Okay. I'm about ready to load this mat. I'm just going to push it up to the little black rollers here and hit the load button. And it's going to pull it in and take a look at it. Okay. Now. I can see everything on here, but there is a there's a button right here in the middle. And that button looks like a blue box with a bar across it. And what that is going to do is it is going to take a picture of what's on the mat. So I'm going to press that and start. All right, pardon my reach. So we can see, one of the things I wanted to tell you too, this is a trick. Um, if you have fabric that's very light and you can't see the top of it, when before you scan it, you can always take a friction marker and make a line around uh, the edges of very light fabric. So I can see here because, because I took a picture of the mat, I can see here now that everything is going to cut. I need to move this around just a little bit. It's going to be off the edge, those big ones. But look, now I know all of those are going to cut just fine. These are just a little bit um, close to the edge, but I think those are going to cut fine on that blue fabric. And then all the greens should cut out just fine as well. So um, I'm going to... Uh, I've got now all of the fabric, all of the designs are on the fabric and I'm just gonna tell it okay. And it says, please select. And I'm just gonna hit cut. And it says it's gonna take, uh, let's see. Let's see, it's gonna tell me two minutes or less.
So isn't this nice? I don't have to cut all these out by hand. I don't have to trace them onto uh, the back of a substrate of some sort. I don't have to do any of that. Now, some people ask me, um, what, you know, what blade am I using? This is the black blade. It is the all-purpose blade, and it works fine. You can also use the gold blade. It will work fine. Okay. I am, uh, right now, I am going through, and I am over here in the canvas, and I am changing my mat size so that I can cut out that scarf. All done. Look at that. Okay, we are all finished. It says finish cutting. Let's see. I'm on the right camera. Y'all, I'm I need a producer and a director. If anybody's available, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> all right, so let's see how we did. I'm gonna look at all these little circles. Look at that. Look at that. They're perfect. They're absolutely perfect. Let's get the green ones up. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then let's get the blue ones up. How about that? They are all cut and they are absolutely perfect. I kind of scrape it a little bit so you don't stretch the fabric at all. And this, this little tool comes with your scan and cut. See how simple this was? Now these are ready to go into applique. Now, who wants to uh, stitch all of these? By hand with a sewing machine, not me. Okay, so um, one of the things I'm going to do now too, I'm going to eject this mat, and I want to cut out uh, my scarf. So this is really something that is very cool. I want to show you. So let's say you've got big pieces. Well, brother makes a 24 inch mat. Let me back up and let you see uh, how big this is. If I can, that's as wide as I can go. So this is a 24 inch mat and I scanned in the scarf pieces earlier and uh, got them ready to go to cut in the uh, scan and cut. So I am going to tell this okay and we're just gonna go to home and is it okay to delete, let me see. Is it okay to delete all patterns and I'm gonna tell it okay. Well now I want to retrieve data because while those were cutting out, I sent down the scarf. I'm going to tell it, get it from the cloud. And there is my scarf. And you can only see half of the mat. And then, okay. So what I need to do now is I need to tell with the wrench, it says, what's your cut area? And it thinks it's on a 12 by 12 mat. I'm going to touch this and I'm going to tell it we're on the 12 by 24 and tell it okay. And okay. Now I want to scan this and I need to tell it the scanning area is, uh, let me see, um, that's cut area. Hold on while I poke, I apologize. Um, oh, so let me scan and I need to load the mat. I wanna make sure my scarf is placed properly on the fabric. Okay, I'm gonna tell it uh, start. It should only scan a 12 inch mat. I don't think it's gonna scan the whole 24. I've gotta tell it different. Nope, it's taking the whole thing, okay. So see, you can do a whole lot. If you are doing a bunch of different pieces at one time, this is a great thing too. Look at that. Let me show you up close, you guys. Look at this. My scarf was a little bit off the fabric right up here. I'm going to touch it and I'm going to move it down just a little bit. 
And now I'm going to go down here and make sure, yep, it's not off the edge. I think it's going to be just fine for cutting just as it is. So I'm going to tell it OK. And please select and cut and start. There we go. Now it's going to go ahead and it's going to cut out my scarf. And it's going to cut out my scarf. Okay, well, that's working. Um, so, yeah, the battery, it won't, uh, the battery won't go away. The camera won't shut off. It's got a cord in it or something. So I'm going to jump over to my screen and uh, Kennedy. So we're all done. Let's see before I do this. Look. And uh, Kennedy. So we're all done. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, Kennedy, so can we go back over to uh, my computer screen? Awesome. So y'all, this program right here up at the top, it says Pace Setter BES4 Dream Edition. Okay. So this dream edition is um, a lot. Of, I know you guys sell this. A lot of times this will be offered as a plus one if you buy a machine from a, a vendor. So you you might consider this. But if you don't get this particular one, then you will also want to know there is another program called Simply Applique. And that is a. Uh, that is a module that is inside of BES4. It does the exact same thing that this program does. It just has fewer fonts and whatnot. So remember I told you that, um, let's see, I'm going to go back over here and I did download the scarf and all of the circles. So up here in the top, this button right here is like a file menu. And right there, it says import FCM. And FCM is the file that was created by the scan and cut when you imported a, um, the paper applique pattern and it took a picture of it. So we're going to import FCM. And I'm going to um, go to it. I, they went into my downloads, I believe. Yes. So see this untitled five, there's my scarf. Look at that. And I'm going to click open. Okay. And because it needs to be sideways and that helps my brain, I'm going to come up here to the arrange tab up in the upper left corner. And I am going to rotate 90 degrees to the right. That's what it looks like in the pattern. And I'm going to come back over here to this B button. Now, if you have simply applique, this looks like an A instead of a B. And I'm going to import FCM again. And right here, you can see in the preview, there's all my little circles. So I'm going to open those. And now all I have to do, I'm not going to do it to all of them because we'll be here forever. But all I have to do is, let's see, these are snowballs for uh, that are up in the sky. So these big snowflakes, I don't need these. So I'm going to highlight them all and just hit delete because I can bring them in another time. And now all you need to do is take these, and these are all different colors, remember, and just randomly place them wherever you would want to put your applique. So just you want to do it into some place that it's pleasing. OK, I'm going to do this. And, you know, last one here, I think it'll look good right there. This guy needs to go. Now, I'm not going to fiddle with all of this right now, but right over here on the left menu where it says artwork, you can right click and rename 
and I could type scarf. And if you wanted to, you could go through and number all of these, but you don't have to. You can just leave them as they are. All right, so right now we are still looking at a graphic. That's what it is right now. It's a graphic, and that's why this says artwork, okay? But now I'm going to, on my keyboard, I'm going to control A to select all. And you can see up here now on the left, it says all items, artwork, standard black, okay? I'm going to come up to the tools tab, and there's one button right here that says convert to applique, and I'm gonna click it. And look, it's switched to applique, and the default is a satin stitch. Well, I don't want a satin stitch, I want a blanket stitch. So over here on the right, I'm gonna come up to, here's your properties window. I've got applique type, and it says satin. I'm gonna hit the drop down arrow, and I'm gonna go to blanket. And you can change your blanket length stitch and everything here. You can change the width and the length. I'm going to click apply. Ta-da! We've got a little weirdness going on over here, and that's something we can work on. Um, we don't have time for that today. But this is now, look at this. I'm going to come over here on the left. Let me, here's your scarf. Here is your placement line. Here's your tack down line, and there is your blanket stitch right there. So everything now is an automated applique design. And that's it. That's And then here's the really good part. You can go up here again, file. You can say save as. And down here at the bottom, it has a page. Paste setter outline files BRF. This is your uh, your line drawing, but you can change this. And here is every home embroidery machine that is on the market. So you do not have to have a brother or a baby lock in order to do this. You can use a Janome, a Faf, Bernina, all of them, Singer, every one of them. So you can save it into your machine's file format and call it Scarf and save, okay? It says the current design doesn't fit in the current hoop. Do you still wanna continue? I'm gonna tell it yes, okay. So Kennedy, can we go back over to um, uh, me? There we are. So that's it. That's how you can turn a paper applique pattern and fully automate it. So, um, yeah. And so for those of you that uh, don't have BES4 or maybe it is, and this is not an expensive process. Um, Simply Applique does the exact same thing that BES4 does. And it has it's like less than half the price. So you don't have to buy loads and loads of software that is outrageously expensive to make this work. Um, another thing too, for those of you who are considering a scan and cut, I highly recommend you take a look at that. If you have a brother luminaire, brother came out with a technology called My Connection. And what that does is you can take any embroidery design any embroidery applique design, whether it's from Designs by Juju or maybe Kimberbell or self, um, any embroidery that is applique. And you can go through in the luminaire and identify which lines, which stitch is the placement stitch and send it directly over to the scan and cut and cut out the fabric for your applique right there. It's all wireless. It is really easy. I've got a video on my channel how to do that. And uh, so that's a lot of fun. And this just makes, instead of tedious, all of a sudden it just is so much fun. And I can't wait to start playing with this. Another reason, um, if you are considering an embroidery machine and maybe you're on the fence, Stellaire or the Luminaire, that big 15 inch scarf, it's actually 13 and a half. That scarf was 13 and a half. I can do that 
in that big 10 by 16 hoop on the Brother Luminaire. You can also do it in the Baby Lock Solaris, but yeah, either one. <laughs> so that's why people tell me all the time, you've made me spend money because I want to do what you're doing. <laughs> so that's it, Kennedy. Um, oh my gosh. I am so happy with today's class. So you, that's it, Kennedy. You just um, knocked it out. Oop, we got some echo going on. Oh my gosh. I am so <laughs> happy with today's class. You that's it, Kennedy. You just knocked it out. Oop, we got some echo going on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> No, uh, somebody just asked the question, will the scan and cut work with the Solaris? Right now, it does not, to my knowledge. Again, I'm not a brother employee. I don't know what they're coming up with there. Uh, but as far as I know, Solaris today does not work with the My Connection on the scan and cut. So um, you would still, what you could do, though, is you could save that placement line to USB and then put the USB into the scan and cut and cut that way. So there's a workaround for that. No, that is awesome. Becky, thank you so much for coming on. You are just so full of knowledge and you're just, you're fantastic. One question though, um, a lot of people had was what blade were you using? So what was what blade were you using? What blade were you using? I, I still didn't get that. What bow blade, the black blade. The black blade. Yes. You can Perfect. use the black or the gold blade. The gold blade is, is generally, it has a finer cut and it's designed for fabric. Um, the black blade works just fine as well. I have a rotary blade, but I really only use it for cork or felt or some other type of, uh, uh, you know, material that I, that might get bunched up otherwise. So I tend to leave the straight edge blades of the black blade and the gold blade to cut my um, my quilt fabric. Awesome. Well, Becky, thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and go on and do some giveaways for everyone watching today. But again, thank you so much for coming on and hanging out with us. It really, I just, you're so great. <laughs> thank you everybody for coming and joining me. I had so much fun. Check out my channel on YouTube, Power Tools yes. with Thread. You guys go sew something. Bye. Yes. Bye. All right, you guys. Did you guys have fun? I know we were having a little bit of technical difficulties, but you know, the Wi-Fi gremlins, as I always say, they're just always after us. I, I swear. They're always, they're always coming after us. But guess what time it is, you guys? It is giveaway time. So let me get some music going because now it's a party and we're going to start getting on. So, but real quick before I go on, make sure you guys go check out um, Becky's YouTube channel, Power Tools with Thread. She is so amazing and she always has top tier YouTube videos of all things, you know, scan and cut quilting. There's so much on there. Everybody can learn something from her and she's so great. I also, she has a Facebook group called Power Tools with Thread that it's a private group that you can join. I linked that down in the description box below as well as her YouTube channel. So that way you guys can get in contact with her She's got Facebook and all that stuff. So make sure you guys go check it out. She is seriously one of the best educators that I have ever, you know, worked with and also had on the show. She's just, she's a gem. We love her so much over here at SMP. So anyways, let's go ahead and get into some giveaways today. I don't know. Let me turn the music down a little bit. It's a little loud in my ear. I don't want it to be too crazy for you guys. So what do we have today? Well, I thought... Since we're all talking about scanning cuts, we're talking about machines, what better way than to give away our iconic sew mats? Because you know what? You can use them for everything. It's so amazing. And look at all the colors running down there. And I actually had a chat with Blaine. And I don't know, this is this is a very this is a little secret, you guys. I'm just gonna tell you right now. I might be designing a sew mat, but we'll see. We'll see. If you guys want me to. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. We were just chatting about it. It's a little idea we've been throwing around, but we're going to see what works. And you might be seeing a Kennedy and the SMP SOMAT coming soon. So let's go ahead and give one of those today. And you guys know the drill with the giveaways. So if you do win, head over to smplive.tv to claim your prize. But I will say with SoFest and everything going on, please allow us about seven days to process it. It could be sooner. 
Um, but we just have a ton of giveaways to catch up on from SoFa. So we will get to you and we will get your things shipped out to you. I promise I will make sure of it. But again, we had a big week last week. So anyways, let's go ahead and see who's going to win this so mat. Oh, you guys are all saying design one. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Priscilla Paris, congratulations. You have just won a brand new sew mat. You can pick whatever color you want, whatever size you want. So if you have a large machine, small machine, we have four different sizes to accommodate to your needs of what sewing mat you would need. So go ahead and head to smplive.tv. Put your information in there. Fill all that out. Pick what color and size you want, and we will get that out to you. All right. Let's see what I've got next now. I also thought, what better way than to give away a $100 gift card to a very lucky viewer today? Because, you know, I, I love doing giveaways of actual products and things like that. But also, I know, I get it. I know how fun a $100 gift card is to people because that way you can go pick whatever you want. So I love that we were able to give away some of these gift cards today because, you know, you're sometimes you want to go pick out your own stuff or maybe there's essentials that you need or you just want a hundred dollars off your order listen i got you guys back i promise i got you guys back all right so let's go ahead and see who is going to win this 100 hundred dollar gift card see somebody i just saw a thing that says i love to shop barb tori we all love to shop i i look on the website all day long and i'm like ooh. Roxanne Sexton, congratulations. You just won a $100 gift card. So head to smplive.tv to claim your prize and we will get that email to you. All right, let's see. I think I'm gonna give away a machine today. I think I am, I think I'm going to. Let's see which one it is. It is gonna be the Brother BM3850 today. It is such an awesome machine. Um, if you've got, well, hey, I mean, we were just talking about scan and cut and things like that. And everybody I feel needs just a basic machine for the basic stitches, the basic everything, you know, or maybe if you've got grandkids and you wanna start teaching them how to sew, if you've got people around you who wanna teach you how to sew or you wanna teach how to sew, that's what I meant, um, you can have a chance to win a nice little machine and brother machines and quality always just they're just so good. I love Brother Machines. They're, they're so great. But let's go ahead and see. And da, da, da. and I want to tell you guys real quick. So this little spin the wheel thing that we do, in case you guys are new and haven't been here before, the more you comment, the better chances you have to win. So, Laura Austin, congrats. You have just won a Brother BM3850, an awesome little travel machine, um, great beginner machine. Maybe if you don't have a sewing machine, I don't know, but go ahead and head to smplive.tv to claim your prize and we will get you that machine. All right, you guys. Well, I think that is gonna be it for Takeover Tuesday today. I think that the show went so well today. I'm so happy with Becky and her coming on. Let me know if you guys want her to come back because I would love to have her back and it's all up to you guys. So let me know what kind of content you guys want to see from us next. Um, let's see what else. Also, I think we, listen, I see all of your guys' suggestions on what to name our little mascot. And I just, I'm so indecisive. So I, I saw one that said Bob and Bear, and I really think that one's really cute. Um, so that one might be the winner for now. I just wanted to give you guys an update on the bear situation because it's been really, it's really been getting me. I really want to name the mascot, you know? <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us today for Takeover Tuesday. I'm so happy that you guys could join us. And I love seeing all my friends on here and all Becky's friends. It's so nice to meet you guys. Again, my name is Kennedy. I'm the social media specialist here at SMP. Oh, Kyle, you want to say hi? Kyle's in the house. They're setting up our new setup for our show. So expect some fun new content soon. Maybe I'll do some behind the scenes. Um, but again, thank you guys so much for joining us today. And make sure you guys tune in tomorrow. We've got um, Famori Cutlery coming in with some more education and some fun little tips and tricks and some advice on taking care of your cutting supplies. So important. Well, I think that's it for me. I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Like Becky said, go sew something today. And if you finish a project, 
please send it to us. Tag us on Instagram. Mention us on Facebook. We love seeing all your guys' projects. And I know I've been talking about, I really want to start a Facebook group on Facebook, obviously, and have everybody, all of you guys, if you guys want to join, you're more than welcome to. And so that way we can share our projects and we can all, you know, share what SP Nation's going on and all the happenings. So if you guys would be interested, um, keep your eyes peeled. I'm going to be working on it soon. I just, we got these shows every day, you know, I got to, I got to make sure you guys are getting all that good content. But nevertheless, I hope you guys, again, have an amazing rest of your week and go sew something, go do something fun. And we will see you guys very, very soon. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.